humbling in its massive scale and grandeur. Every turn, a postcard. There is no place quite like Alaska. But tonight, scientists are warning this rugged beauty belies a troubling reality. Alaska is melting. This summer, forest fires scorched more than two and a half million acres. Anchorage hit 90 degrees for the first time. This is definitely an existential threat for the, uh, the stability of, of the way that we live our lives right now. I lived in Alaska for four years as a child. My father was stationed here in the Air Force. I want to take you to a place we used to go as a family that I think illustrates the kind of change we're talking about. My destination, Portage Lake. Last time I came here, I think it was 1970. This is a photo of my grandmother at that same spot. That's me playing in the background. The lake back then was filled with ice chunks and just beyond was Portage Glacier, but no more. Portage Glacier has receded more than three miles in the last century. You used to be able to see it standing right where I am, but now the only way to view it is by boats. After a 15 minute sail, Portage Glacier finally reveals itself. What we're looking at now, at some point it retreats into the mountain. Absolutely. As long as our winters keep getting warmer, it's gonna keep moving back and how fast it moves back depends on the, the summer temperatures, the winter snowfall. These pictures show just how much of Portage has disappeared since 1914. Melting glaciers contribute to rising sea levels and warming oceans. But just as alarming to scientists here in Alaska is what's happening below ground. The warming earth is literally changing what's beneath our feet. For most of Alaska, that would be permafrost, a frozen layer of earth made up of soil and gravel. The permafrost is thawing, raising concerns the release of carbon dioxide and methane could lead to even more warming. So I just hit the permafrost. You just hit the permafrost. Just outside Fairbanks, I venture into a place where time is literally frozen the Army Corps of Engineers permafrost tunnels, where 40,000 years of Earth's history are studied. Ice, ancient grass, even woolly mammoth bones. Is that a, that a bone there? Yeah, good eye. That's a, that's a mammoth bone. Uh, people love mammoths. Um, this is a step bison horn right oh, yeah, here. Yeah, see the horn right there. Yeah. Yep. The tunnels, originally built in the 60s to study underground construction. Just kind of need to feel how cold yeah. it is. Yeah, that's... that's it's, it feels cold, It's huh? solid ice. Yep. Now, that melting permafrost is heaving roads and sinking houses as temperatures rise. Is it happening at a more rapid pace? It's in a very long, steady warming. But the last 20 or 30 years in this area, that rate of warming has increased quite a bit. The Alaska of my childhood still remains largely untouched, yet alarm bells are ringing here. I showed you a picture of my grandmother standing on this lake. Will we ever see a, a picture like that again? We'll see it, if, we'll see it in the photo books. Um, I thought about that picture of your grandmother and what inspired uh, your family to take that picture that day. And it wasn't just that there was this, this pretty lake around us. It was that lake filled with those large icebergs and that towering glacier right behind her. What we have in that picture is an opportunity uh, to connect with a wild northern landscape. And that's, that's what still draws people here today. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.